Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Wednesday. Aberdeen's 300 fans will not be allowed to stand or sing at the weekend's test event after the club published a list of rules that must be adhered to. Nab Todry and Ross County's Global Energy Stadium will welcome a limited number of supporters for Saturday's Premiership matches, but the strict regulations will be in place. The Dons are hoping to have 700 fans the following weekend as well, along with other clubs across the country. But earlier today, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon suggested she could halt the phased return of crowds after a surge in Covid cases this week. We'll find out more tomorrow. New Celtic signing Shane Duffy is relishing competition for places with current centre-back pairing Chris Iyer and Christopher Julian. Duffy could also form a back three with the pair and he's looking forward to getting onto the pitch. Yeah, really excited to, to play, learn from them. Two top players in my opinion and I've watched them closely because obviously I watch Celtic so uh, I'm as I said, really excited. It's, it's up to me to try and push them and try and force my way into the squad. Scotland forward Oli Burke has signed for Sheffield United in a swap deal with West Brom as Callum Robinson goes the other way. The 23-year-old struggled to make a mark with the Baggies and spent the second half of last season on loan at Alavis, having done so with Celtic the season previous, but he will now play again in the Premier League. And Falkirk have reached an agreement in principle with US-based investors for a six-figure cash injection. The Americans have pledged to take a 26% shareholding in the club and they will take positions on the board. Chair Gary Dean stated the club aimed to ensure all parties' ambitions for the team are completely aligned. Falkirk begin their season with League Cup fixtures at the start of October. Thank you for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, which is where you can also catch up with the football show. That's on at 4 o'clock and they will have discussed all of today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.